People flocked to West Oakland's Defremery Park last weekend for the third annual Estria Invitational Graffiti Battle. This urban art competition showcased 24 of the most talented graffiti artists in the country. Uh, this is probably the biggest turnout I've ever seen for this type of event in this area, yeah. Vogue, an Oakland native, has been using spray paint for 25 years. I was already an artist and I was already doing it and it became my second family. I mean, that's where I really got opened up to a bunch of different races and cultures by traveling and meeting different people. Artists came from as far away as Hawaii and New York, hoping their unique creativity would win them this year's national title. Graffiti art is doing positive messaging, trying to affect the public. It's much more powerful than just, you know, just writing my name on the bus type thing. Estria Miyashiro is an educator and entrepreneur in graffiti art. He founded this event two years ago. That was in East Oakland, and then last year we did it again here at this park, and it was really well received like this, and so we thought, let's take this national. So uh, that's what we did this year. We went to New York and Chicago and Hawaii. Estria says the event's turnout shows how graffiti art is entering the mainstream. It's generally not accepted in our country, so a positive alternative outlet like this is great. People can come out and appreciate the art. So many people want to see how the art is created. But in the male-dominated hip-hop world, 22-year-old Dime is the lone female contender. I feel like there's a lot of pressure on my back right now. And seeing all the younger ladies that are coming around and seeing me as a type of role model I see and them telling me, oh, I'm looking up to you, you know what I'm saying? That makes me feel good and being like, all right, you know, come through, let's paint, let's do something because I just got to get that generation going. We want to see young people come here and see, oh, women are doing this, it's okay for me to do it. So they feel it's accessible to them. She's really good and she's actually like, kind of like showing like, you know, everyone that is not just guys, it's girls too, they can do everything. And it wasn't only girls who found a role model here. 14-year-old Freddie said the event was inspiring. It's amazing. I've learned a whole bunch of new things. I've met a whole bunch of new people. Uh, so I like it. It's, it's very different and I would definitely come to the one next year. I think it's very important for today's youth because you can create what you like. There aren't rules, you know, it's not so static as paint brushing, oil painting. It's very expressive. The movements are fast, there's body movements involved with it, so it's a physical sport. These evil streets don't sleep, be careful with By late afternoon, with live music echoing through the park, the artists scrambled to put the finishing touches on their work. Hey Hajari, can we tell them they got ten minutes left on the battle? Ultimately, what they walk away and they leave on the canvas is what we judge them by. Rome, an artist from Chicago, is one of the judges. The idea is the word is given at the day of the event. And so the artists have to work around that word. The word for today was uh, grow. So they have to put that word in a compositional form. Background, foreground, any type of design element. In other words, not just the word. As the sun went down, organizers took down the canvases and tallied the scores. The first place from the East Bay, Vogue of GDK. <laughs> Vogue took home the trophy, but this veteran artist didn't come just to win. I'm painting because I enjoy painting with the people. It's almost like, a, for me, almost like a reunion. Something like this lets us get together and, and paint. But Rome wants these types of events to help elevate graffiti to a higher status in the art world. I also want to see graffiti grow to a level where it's respected as art, instead of misunderstood and underjudged. It's the newest movement, art movement we have. Let's grow together, Oakland.